can't think of any more human activity than conducting science experiments. The game I play is a very interesting one. It's imagination in a tight straitjacket. The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. What I always think should be the basis of education is not answers, but questions. We should teach kids how to question. Welcome to Blabcoats. My name is Amit Siddiqui. In this abridged episode, Brooke talks to us about the disparity in gender that exists in STEM versus Haas. STEM meaning science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and Haas, uh, humanities and social sciences. So why are there so many dudes in the STEM field? What? Well, to find that, you got to listen to this episode, but also the full episode at blabcoats.com. Subscribe to our podcast. Okay, so in your research, you, you looked at these gender differences um, and we spoke about um, some of the reasons why there may be gender uh, differences but you said you looked at STEM what, speci- what, what fields specifically did you look at mathematics engineering and the sciences the hard sciences yeah so um, I had a couple of multiple studies that can kind of comprise my PhD um, so we looked at in the first study I did a meta-analysis so I took in I guess all the studies that have been done on that area and then um, synthesised the effect sizes of the gender differences in um, the variables that we were looking at. And so I was looking at self-beliefs and um, attitudes towards maths, science as a general domain and then uh, physics and chemistry together as like physical sciences, biological sciences, engineering and computing. So um, I guess... From that, one of the interesting uh, results was that there was a kind of continuum on which gender differences exist. So they became quite large in computing and physical sciences, um, whereas the gender difference was pretty much non-existent for biological sciences um, and actually had some variables favouring women in in that area in terms of their um, interest and things like that. Wow, that's so interesting. Yeah, because we tend to kind of, I guess, when we talk about like the gender STEM gap, we often talk about, um, we lump biology in, but it, I think um, it's kind of a little bit more uh, nuanced, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I was going to make a guess and say that I think chemistry and physics would pr- predominantly be men dominated. Yeah. Even that scares me. <laughs> Yeah, like physics when I think about doing all the mathematics and stuff, maybe yeah. myself, yeah. But I, I would, I'd suspect that, yeah, only the craziest of the crazy would be attracted to those sort of fields. Like, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I bombed at that in high school, so <laughs> I'm impressed by anyone who can, you can, do, that, who can yeah. do physics or chemistry. It's yeah. beyond my, it's, yeah, chemistry I'm, I'm pretty good at, but physics is just, it's impossible for me. Yeah, so. it's um, very complicated. That's interesting. What about the social science? Oh, no, obviously that wasn't your focus, sorry. <laughs> well, I did have uh, like verbal domain, like so English or, or a language of um, whatever country that the students were from as a comparison point. And what was really interesting, I guess, was the flip side of the coin. So gender differences actually reverse in verbal domains. So boys are at disadvantage um, in terms of their self-beliefs and also their... Um, attitudes towards uh, the more verbal or English kind of subjects. Really? Um, And a lot of people don't really talk about that. Um, I think largely in in part because I think the issue of attracting more people into the STEM fields is quite topical at the moment in terms of economics and um, we need more people entering those fields. But, yeah, there's definitely a flip side of the coin too where there's... um, I guess gender differences in the social sciences, and it, or did you say verbal? Yeah, what do you mean? so like by that I, I mean kind of just um, they were measuring things like English self concept, or if they were a French student, it'd be French self concept. So like English as a school subject. Hmm. Just a, a, a couple of questions come to mind. So, ha, are there gender differences in like the humanities and the social sciences? Have there been studies that have looked at and found gender gaps in 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 Haas. 
in humanities, humanities. and social sciences. Yeah, so definitely um, in, in the more arts sorts of subjects, there are gender differences favouring girls in, in things that are more uh, oriented, I, I guess, towards reading um, and writing kind of skills. Um, one thing that is quite interesting, I think, with that, though, is that the the gender differences once we control for achievement are a lot smaller than they are um, for girls um, when we look at STEM. So when we're comparing girls and boys of equal ability, um, in, in the studies I did anyway, the, the gender difference um, becomes quite small uh, for in, in the verbal domains. And not so much in, in the STEM. Correct. Yeah, so that's why I think there is kind of some component of, I guess, a, I don't even know how to word it, but like a, a component of girls not being, I guess, given permission to be as confident. Sure. Yeah, I could. Socially. I, I, yeah, like being culturally conditioned almost even if it's not consciously, but some consciously uh, not to go into... But, okay, that's interesting that even though they have the same ability, they lack the confidence in STEM. Yep. But that doesn't exist in the, in the humanities and the social sciences where if you control for the ability, there doesn't really appear to be a difference between them two. It's still there, but it, it, in, in the studies I did anyway, but it diminished to quite a small ah. difference compared to the differences we're seeing in, um, say, physical sciences or computing or mathematics. Um, yeah, so again, it's kind of, I guess, really co complicated again, but um, I, I did find that quite interesting um, as I was looking at the literature and then also my own studies. Thanks for listening to Blab Coats. Rate and review our podcast on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast because it does help us spread the word. And if you like what we're doing here, then help us grow it by sharing this with a friend, a friend of a friend, or your mailman, even your mailman's mailman. We also want to hear from you, so send us questions or comments to blabquotes at gmail.com. And if you have any interesting questions or comments, then we'll talk about it on air.